entered that upon. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. Good morning. Today's best intentions are for our Janet and Eddie Brignan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually part of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy, in proportion to the faith. If ministry, in ministering. If one is a teacher, in teaching. If one exhorts in exhortation, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does act of acts of mercy with cheerfulness, love be let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with who, those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things except too sublime for me, if you will. Nay, rather, I have still inquired in my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Hallelujah. 
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Amen. that table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will die in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner, to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and I am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to the master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows, and make people come in, that my home may be filled. For I tell you, None of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. So I was reading some stories about Mother Angelica, the founder of the television and now radio network, EWTN, Eternal World Television Network. And she says, uh, I read the story about how she got started in television. They went to Chicago for an interview, and she walked into the uh, TV station and said, Lord, i got to have one of these. And they went through the interview. She, she really didn't know why she said that. It just kind of came to her. She went through the interview, and they were leaving, driving home in the car, and she said the same thing. Lord, i got to have one of these. And she said immediately when she said that, the thought, thought crossed her mind. What would, two, what would 12 cloistered nuns do with a TV show and a radio station? But she said she knew that was a temptation. She immediately put it aside because that was the best way to stifle the work of the Holy Spirit, trying to speak to her. These two times saying, Lord, I gotta have one of these. And through God's providence and many great events, uh, she ended up founding EWTM, the television network. And she says time and time again, a key factor in being open to the Holy Spirit is not rejecting the, the spirit with excuses or reasons why we can't do something, but to be open and say, okay, Lord, if you want it, let's make it work. Let's, let's keep going along with this. We see in our gospel today that, um, that many were invited to this banquet, this dinner, but they had excuses. They said, one said, let me tend to my field, my oxen, uh, work got in the way. I'm too busy for that. I'm too busy, Lord, for your invitation to live in your kingdom. Another said, I just married a woman. Sometimes relationships, they do get in the way of, of us answering God's call. You see, because the kingdom, we look forward to that kingdom one day in heaven with God to all eternity. And we, we are all here because we're saying yes. We want to be in heaven. But more importantly, the kingdom uh, is happening here and now. We learn this throughout the Gospels. And when we answer the call of the Holy Spirit, we answer that call to live in the kingdom, to further the kingdom on earth. To be open to the Holy Spirit, to not give those excuses that we all give. And I know in my life, uh, when I hear the Holy Spirit calling me to do something, sometimes I say, no, I have to do this. I don't have enough time. But when I respond, God always provides and takes care of the details. Maybe I'm running out of time, I have another appointment. Uh, but someone will call and cancel their, their appointment. Or God just always takes care of us. So I think that's the message, is that, yes, we're here because we desire to be in that heavenly kingdom, that banquet in heaven. But more importantly, uh, God calls us each day to be open to the Holy Spirit, to not make excuses, 
but to live in the kingdom. And really, St. Paul, in our first reading, gives excellent ways to do that. He says, if we have a gift, use it for the kingdom. If we, uh, we are all one body, we should treat one another. And I think we should go back to this first reading and read through it, because it's excellent ways of how to live in charity every day and in many practical ways. So as we celebrate Mass, we ask the Lord for that grace to always be open to His voice and not to give excuses on why we can't cooperate. Gather together as one body in Christ, we offer the following prayers. For the body of Christ, may the Holy Spirit guide us in using our gifts to serve others in humility and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our world, may God, in his gracious mercy, deliver his people from sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who do not feel worthy at the Eucharistic table, may God's grace heal and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all deceased whose names are listed in our parish book of life, for their eternal rest with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in the silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Oh God, we bring you all of these prayers and petitions, for we trust that you, you hear and answer them for us each person, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Food of the earth and work it from the heavens will become for us the bread of life. So do you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the water we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God. Indeed, holy, holy, the thought of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the informed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am thy prayer that you should enter into my room, but only say the word. Communion and palm. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Say, my Lord, we are the defenders of the Lord. We are the protection of the ends of the goodness and snares of the day. May God have a good deal we have in the prayer. And do thou have the prayers of the heavenly Lord. By the power of God, cast the dead on the sea, and all of the evil spirit, who have gone from the world to see the Lord is so good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>